medicines for Alzheimer's disease. There are many, like, there are only like three-ish. So these are the two main ones. Um, and like from that, they're like all like brand names and stuff. So these are So we start off with cholinesterase inhibitors, which are basically for any forms of AD. So for mild to like severe. Um, so the way it works is that it, it inhibits cholinesterase from hydrolyzing acetyl choline and glucosamine. Um, which allows for an increase in the availability and the duration of action of acetylcholine in the neuromuscular system. Um, the next one is med memantin, which is for more moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease patients. And basically, the way it works is that it blocks out the effects of a chemical called glutamate, and glutamate sends messages between nerve cells in the brain. Um, but in Alzheimer's disease, these nerve cells are damaged because of the amyloid plus envelope. Um, so um, the nerve cells make too much glutamate, which can cause more damage to the brain. So basically, memantine it doesn't reverse the beta amyloid tangles, but it's more of a preventative thing. So it causes, um, it blocks the effects of too much glutamate, which helps the brain not um, So for risk factors, the main thing that um, researchers tend to look at when they are observing people who have symptoms of Alzheimer's disease is the heart head connection. Um, basically, this means that there's a connection between your heart and your head because the brain is nourished by um, your blood vessels and the heart is responsible for being for nourishing the brain and everything that pops blood and blood to the body. So, um, people who have things like heart diseases, diabetes, stroke, high blood pressure, and Cholesterol, they are more at risk for having Alzheimer's disease. It's not um, like a guarantee, but because of the heart head connection, it's definitely a possibility that they might have a tendency to get it earlier or if you know, more likely to get it all um, So, for demographics, um, about one in nine people above the age of 65 have almost Alzheimer's disease, um, and two thirds of Americans with Alzheimer's disease. Um, older Black Americans are about twice as likely to have Alzheimer's disease or other dementias as older white people. And older Hispanic people are about one in one half times as likely to have Alzheimer's disease or other dementias as older white people. So, um, like all diseases, Alzheimer's disease has an economic burden on our healthcare system. So, in 2022, the estimated healthcare cost associated with Alzheimer's disease treatment was. Are based on the direct healthcare 